Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our Let's Play adventure in the wonderful world of Xenoblade Chronicles 3, where a bit of time has passed since last time, but I remember exactly what was going on. It was late, I started a quest not realizing how involved it was going to be, and then just said, hey, you know what, we're done for the day, goodbye, <laughs> like right in the middle of it. Well, we're back right. now. I've we'll got a ready. lot of rust. I played the sequel to Xenoblade Chronicles 3, or I guess the re-release, titled um, a Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> no, it is shocking. It is kind of shocking when you go to defeat a godlike entity who's completely emotionless and sort of talks like this inside of a place called Origin. <laughs> <laughs> Which game am I talking about? Both of them! It was very odd. And then there was like a lot of other themes in it that were just really reminded me of, of the first and second Xenoblade games. I understand that those aren't necessarily unique to this series, but just seeing them all contained in a single game, it felt less like I was playing Final Fantasy and more like a Xenoblade fan game. It was very strange. Great game, though! Not a big fan of the combat or the environments or the characters. Here's the thing. The game is delightfully okay. That's that's my review of Final Fantasy 16. If you've not played it yet, we're doing a Let's Play on this channel. It's not doing very well. This series is doing better. This series wasn't doing very well either. But if we compare everything to Tekkit, you know, nothing performs well by that metric. Uh, but you should go watch it. It is actually a lot of fun. The story is good. The characters are good. It's just off the back of Final Fantasy VII Remake. I expected more, um, and I didn't get it. But we're here now! We're here now playing this! We got Senna, my favorite best girl! We love Senna so much! We got Noah, he's great! We got everyone else! I have a vague memory of what we're doing here. We've got a few folks in prison, and we have to decide whether or not we want to set them free, or publicly execute them, or something along those lines. Good gosh, I need to remember to put my phone on, on Do Not Disturb. There we go. My mistake, it's off now. No more interruptions. I think what we're supposed to do is like chit chat with different individuals and determine how they kind of feel about the whole ordeal. But before we do that, before we actually engage in that sort of shenanigans, I, I feel like it is my duty as the sort of shepherd of these individuals, as their caretaker, to make sure that they're well fed, because I've notoriously been very bad about get oh, oh, we're actually in a cantina and there's something we can buy here. The 40% class point boost is actually really good. I don't know if we've ever bought this before. Mm, so tasty. I feel like it's probably something we have purchased before. And in fact, That's I would wager way. that we've even had a manana a twist on this that we probably eat quite oh, often. Everyone. But just while oh, we're in the on. area, get them topped off because they didn't have any food on them. Internal affairs officer. So, I heard John Doe might be getting out soon. The very man who brought disorder to his colony by destroying enemy intel. I know I wouldn't be letting him out anytime soon. Okay, well, we've got a little bit of information on the individual. I think we're supposed to be interviewing more people, though. Surely not down here. This is bound to be part of something else. Can we show what's happening here? Solve Suna's worry. What is that? The three feet... Is that... Is that this? S Suna? Well, what are we doing? We're going to fight them or what? Oh, that's right. I need time to think. Right. That's what we're doing. We have the option to fight them. Or I guess as an alternative, we can go collect information about them. Maybe have a little bit of discussion about it. And then determine whether or not we want to fight them. Or again, public execution is still on the table. It isn't actually, but it's kind of funny to think about that being the case. I mean, I mean, I not like laugh out loud, haha funny. But just in kind of concept, the idea that in this bright and beautiful colorful game that I absolutely love and adore uh, <laughs> brutal public execution might be an option darker things have happened one character killed themselves thank goodness I hated them I'm glad that Shania is gone I don't no redemption arc for Shania thank you Atoma was jailed for vi okay look they did some work in the ascension quest for someone was it was it Gondor I can't remember to redeem Shania a little bit. I'll admit that. I. Uh, d d anyway, Tomo was jailed for violating military discipline during a battle with Kevis. Everything I ever heard about him suggested he was a super, su oh sorry, superb loveness pilot, albeit one who had a bit of an issue following orders. Soon as worrying about whether she should free the guy or not, personally, I'm against it. 
Kind of sounds like everyone doesn't really like these individuals. Also, are we collecting different information, like four different sets of information for each individual character? If so, where am I supposed to find all the people to ask about this? Because we've found like two sources of information so far. Can we go in here? Ulrich seems like he's going in here. What Ulrich wants to talk about, though, has absolutely nothing to do with what's happening inside of there. It's supposed to talk about this nonsense about visiting here from the city and all that. Or, sorry, visiting here from Agnes. Which, I mean, he is... he's... Kavessi! I'm sorry, I did actually read what it said, I've just not paid attention to it, honestly. micro Turkin, wait a minute, why are you... what's going on here with you? What's your story? Kra! Luck! Good luck! Yeah, cheers! We hear you, buddy! Sure, did I help that guy get here in some way? I don't recall. Unless, wait a minute, no, hold on. Oh yeah, Micro and Minnie, the, the two kids whose parent died. Gondor adopted them. How you like living here? I don't want to talk to you, Aggie. I, I mean, no offense, you're great and all, but I want to talk to the, the Mini Turkin. Not to be confused with Micro. So, have you gotten used to your new home yet? Kra! Turkin, help small bro and Gondor human! Oh yeah. I'm sure it's really big help. I hope everyone's getting along. I think I'm doing really good on the voices now. It's been a little over a year, so you'd like to think that I'd be getting pretty decent at them. Gosh darn it. I keep telling folks that we really need to finish this series so we can move on to doing other things. But then every time I do sit down and record this, I just want to keep playing this game. It's not like Final Fantasy 16 where I can't say I was glad to be done with it. I enjoyed playing it, but I was ready to play something else. With this, I just kind of wish there was more to do. We're running out of things to do. Once we finish all the, the side quests and ascension quests and everything, I mean, then what? Also, what's happening here? Is it Aggie that's correct or Augie? If I were you, I'd go ask Gondor to be sure. Sounds like some sort of dispute, some sort of argument happening between Aggie and Augie. It's just a discussion topic, so possibly not. We have not found enough people to ask about this, though. This is, this is deeply unsettling. Because what am I supposed to do? Just go fight them? Without getting all the facts straight? I don't know about that. Seeker! He does not have any opinions on this. You'd think Seeker would. I hear from Aggie that things aren't going well in the city right now. Did you have no... Do you have any ideas to help them out? We were thinking we'd send non-food supplies, but... But Aggie seems pretty adamant that food supplies are exactly what they'll want. Okay, well, I mean, do you have any opinion? I, I, I don't... I, I don't... Maybe we just have to accept it. And then after the combat encounter, only then will we get... We've looked everywhere. We've spoken to everyone who can be spoken to. And it kind of looks like the quest just wants me to do this. I suppose the one thing we could do is we could go ahead and check in on the actual quest item in the menu. And we do have that, that, and that. So if I track one of these instead, right? Like, let's say we activate that one. Will that change where to go look? Kind of. We've got a mark now on the Cadencia region proper. Interesting. So what we need to do is not take a capture. I've hit the wrong button. Like a mistake. And uh, like an accident. But what we actually need to do is go down to the Cadencia region and speak to someone maybe down here. Oh, of course! There's so many folks down here who are sort of adjacently related to... Uh, not even adjacently, like actually related to, to Agnes. This is like an Agni encampment. This is where the prison is and everything. Oh, granted, that's not Agni anymore. That's Colony Zero, which is decidedly Kavesi, but also kind of independent now that I think about it. So apparently there's an individual right here that we can talk to. Kay. Kay, what's your opinion on the situation? We'd like to ask you about Zara's story. Uh, sure. I mean, Zara's already locked up now, so I'm not sure what difference it'll make. But, eh, why not, I guess. You guys must have your reasons for asking, I suppose. Zara used to be part of the Salvage Corps. She achieved much as a soldier, and was well regarded for her no, no nose in battle? Her nouse? Her no, no nose? Is that like prowess, but a different word? Uh, but one day, there was an incident on a mission to procure an airdrop supply container. I'm sure you probably know already, but for some reason, she decided to blow up that container. Everyone was furious about the waste of supplies. It wasn't even like there were Kavesis trying to steal them or anything. The consul at the time therefore claimed she was plotting an insurrection and imprisoned her. Okay. See, it kind of feels like everyone's been framed in some way, or maybe they had some deeper reason for doing the things that they did that we've just not figured out yet. I don't know what, 
but it kind of feels that way. It kind of feels like there's more going on here than what's immediately apparent on the surface. Also, while we run around, we should be looking for all the under other individuals that we need to speak to about this situation. Because remember, there's three other characters we're looking for information uh, about. So I'm assuming if we kind of get close, even if we're not tracking that quest, if we get close enough to them, I mean, it should give us something, right? You'd like to think. Maybe if we can go back to tracking this quest, the three friends. Obviously, that won't put anything on the map proper, but it does tell us to be in this region, which is something. Logistics guy! What a name! I heard the girl that blew up the supply container might be getting released from prison. I'm hesitant, to be honest. Can we just ignore what's happening back here with Noah? Can we just pretend like that's not happening? Can we pretend like, oh, Noah's teleported now? Okay. I know it said that she had Agnes's best interest in mind when she did it, but I find that hard to believe. Yeah, I don't know what exactly she could mean by that, unless she knew the container held some sort of, uh... Bomb? Why, though? That's sus, and I'm gonna say no. Also, we should probably put some clothes on Uni. I think it's been long enough. We need to we need to we need to dress her up a little bit, don't we? I mean, don't get me wrong, I I hate to do it, but it's it's time. You know what? She kinda looks cute in the full metal jaguar outfit. I know that's what we've got on Senna, but can you blame me? Actually, what is <laughs> right now she's dressed as a lapidirist, but what if she was also a full metal jaguar? I mean that's just kind of her normal outfit but with a cape. I say sure. And in fact <laughs> Absolutely! You know what? <laughs> I don't even need to see it, but there it is. And there we go. Here we are. Wait, you have it, right? Yeah, boom, there we go. We've got it. We've got a theme now! We've got a theme and it's bothering me that you're not following it. We could replace her with Grey, but I feel like we need to keep her in the party, because isn't she ready to ascend? We just have to find her ascension quests? And we, it's not back in her colony. We looked thoroughly. I don't know if it might be somewhere else in the overworld. We might need to just have a, a peek around and see if we can't locate it. Here we go. Here we go. Grover! Grover, Grover, why don't you roll over? Jodor, you say? Well, he used to be an intel. He was my subordinate. One day, the guy destroyed some intel showing that Kevis was making camp somewhere. If our forces had seen that intel, they could have ambushed that camp and won a crucial victory. But without that intel, we had no chance. There were few casualties, but I'm still at a loss as to why he didn't share the intel. Maybe they were trying to end the war. Maybe along. all of them independently realized that this war is uh, a waste of everyone's time and everyone's effort and it would be better off. Also, I realized that green people are people you can talk to. So we can just like have a gander here and see if there's green people and then beeline to them to see if they have this the information we're nice looking point. for. The, uh, the intel we're looking for. How do we get outside? It's not right there. It's right up here. Yeah, this is the center of the room. This makes infinitely more sense. Just beeline to the greenies. Uh, what was I trying to say, though? I completely forgot it's escaped my mind. I kind of want to go back and play 1 and 2 now. But I also feel like there's so many new games coming out that I would like to play that I don't have the time presently to play because I have all these other responsibilities, right? Like, I have... I have work and I've got I've got to have like a work-life balance so I can only play so many games at once and do I really want to take up a slot on the channel with a game I've already played when I could play something new and different and I promise you this is not a camera angle I'm doing on purpose not that I wouldn't it's just not at this moment one that I'm doing on purpose oh Santa tell me about your day tell me about your life not very talkative okay Mio well geez do you have something you wanted to say do you have something you wanted to contribute to the conversation, yes or no? Goodness. I always loved an elevator that you get on one side and you get out the other. They had that in a hospital when I... The hospital, I think I was... Maybe the one my brother was born. It's one that I went and visited my grandparents in a number of times. And I think a couple of nieces were born there. Very fun elevators. <laughs> Darny, how you doing? Wrong butt. I hear Yodor is the reason we lost the chance to take out... A base in the war with Kevis. I don't know why he did it. I tried asking him, but he flat out refused to give me a reason why. Yodor is a complicated this individual. Is story. It absolutely is. It this is nice unraveling fight. in a completely crazy way. I see that there's a transport down here, probably, is what that represents. Yeah, that's going to be for going back up, I assume, is going to be what we're looking at there. 
Because I don't know what else would be over here. Dana? Why? What? Zara? Yeah, I know her. She was a hot topic for a little while there. She was in the squad that mainly salvages supplies. It was a snuffing capable soldier herself. And when the supply containers are being targeted by enemy scavenging teams, soldiers like her are invaluable. The salvage corps and supply team may be known as logical teams, but that doesn't mean they lack capable fighters. They're the ones who take the necessary decisive actions, such as blowing up a container if the enemy is about to steal it. Even I always seem to stay on my toes. You never know when something might happen. Okay, so that's a new topic. Have we found any for the third individual, though? I don't feel like we have found any for them. I might be off base on that, but I kind of feel like, oh, there's uh, one more quest objective on the other side, which I guess has to be for the last individual, who maybe we found information on. But I feel like we've, we've heard about Yodor destroying Intel, and we've heard about the other one destroying that container, but then there's a third one that I, I feel like we've got nothing on. We can track them. We can track them and we can find specifically information about them if that's what it comes down to. Look at this little room. Have we ever been in here before? What an interesting little space. Uh, Toma is a man who cared deeply for his allies. In that battle with Kevis, his squad was on the verge of being completely massacred. But the nutty mutter broke position to take red, uh, rear guard and charge right at them, letting his squad retreat in the process. Okay, I guess we have heard about Toma. Decent. Well, now we have information on all of them. Meaning all we need to do is find a nice place to sit down and chit-chat about... Oh, wait a minute. Are you, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you telling me there's a part right up here I've just never run out to here before? Well, there we go. Situation taken care of. Problem resolved. Except I see there's a bit on the end there I've never run out to before either. Can I get up there? I, this has nothing to do with the current quest objective. It's just silly to me that after over a year, I, it, there's just places here we've never been before. And you might say, but geez, Reese, why would you ever be up here and, and go over there? And uh, clearly I can't, so I'm not going to. I just think it's odd. Look at that big dark patch over there that we've just never ventured to. Who knows what could be waiting out there? That could be a super boss. We wouldn't know. We'd have no way of knowing. It's in the dark. There could be stuff on those islands over there. Actually, we've probably been to those islands before. Mainly just back in this corner. Is there something over there? Wait a minute. Is there something over there? Oh, no, we have been to that corner, so it is just this patch literally right here we've not been to before. And all of these places in between. There could be tiny little islands out here that I've just not visited yet. I have no idea. Somewhere out there, there's a second part of a discussion about mist on the water and diamonds in the sky. We have to go find that someday if we're going to complete all the quests here. But as for a place where we can sit down and have a conversation, yeah, this is perfect. We'll just go to the camp behind everything. I gotta tell you, one thing I liked about Final Fantasy 16, one thing that I loved, is the game train? basically has no loading screens. It is instantaneous. You select a place in the minimap, it might fade to black for a beat and then fade back in, but it can be clear on the other side of the world and you'll be there in like seconds. It's absolutely incredible. And it really has me hoping that the next generation Switch swaps out that paltry, what is it, 32 or 64 gigs if you have the, the OLED of ECC memory? Give me some NVMe storage in there. I doubt Nintendo would give us hot swappable. No, no, not hot swappable, but a user upgradable uh, SSDs. I, I wish they would. How awesome would it be to just stick an eight terabyte NVMe drive into that sucker? There's room. I've been inside my Switch before. You could make it work, especially if you're making it a bit bigger. You put a bigger battery in it. Keep that OLED. Add that slot. I... <sighs> I can dream. I, I can absolutely dream. What am I doing here? All oh, right, we're having a discussion. I, we're having a discussion right now, too, about the failings of the Switch. Where is that at? It's around here somewhere. White Fog on Arithia Sea. I gotta find part two of that somewhere. Uh, for right now, though, let's talk about Toma. Let's catch up on stuff. If we're to believe what Toma has told us, then it would seem he got locked up for a crime of mass murder. But we also heard that he took rear guard in order to let his comrades retreat. And while he was fighting to save his comrades, he killed a large number of Kavesi soldiers. It's not like he did his case any favors, but he was just fighting his enemy, right? That's what we're all taught to do. Certainly. It would just be a normal thing to do when you're in the Flame Clock's clutches. 
Excuse my speculation, but he didn't extract the flame from the enemies he defeated, did he? If he was blinded by rage, like he said, then I think he was more preoccupied with crushing those Kvesi than anything else. You do raise a good point. You can't exactly extract someone's flame while in a levness. Looking at it from the console's point of view, what wasting of good flame would have been cause enough to lock him up? This will sound grim, but hear me out. I think the console could have solved this more easily if he just snuffed him on the spot. Good point. But you have to consider that Toma's deeds would have won him favor with the troops despite irking the console. Executing him for valiantly saving the lives of his fellow soldiers would have backfired massively. He was a right pain in the console's arse, that's for certain. It would go some way to explaining why it would have been far easier for the console to lock him up under false pretenses. So then perhaps it would be possible to not only convince him not to fight us, but also to free him from prison. <laughs> I don't mind fighting him either way. But we'd be saved a whole lot of fuss if we could talk him out of it somehow. There's only one way to find out. Let's head to Thomas L and see what we can do. Dun 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 dun. No, it's not the start of a new quest, so we're not going to get that. What about Zira? Or Xara, if you're so inclined. Uh, Xara? Xara. It's Zira. So from everything we've heard about Zira, you'd almost think she grew a barrel or something. It's hard to consider blowing up supplies as anything but a military discipline violation. That much is certain. True, but something really doesn't add up here. Yeah, like if I were planning an insurrection, I wouldn't start it by blowing up some random supplies. You're right, Uni. What would be the point in that? I guess the key here is to find out what her reason was for blowing up that container. Just thought of something. Like, isn't it a little odd? The council didn't sentence her to death right away. Good point. Usually, in this situation, the offender would get executed to send a warning to the rest of the colony. Perhaps the Consul saw some sort of value in keeping Zera alive. We can present a concrete theory as to why she got locked up and not executed. If. Uh, that could help our case a lot. And what do we do when we find out, after she's freed, that she's just an utter maniac? Fire her, I guess. Figured that. Guess we should go see her, then. I feel like the console is doing some, some crooked is. dealings around here. That sort of feels like with the situation. So, the story goes that Yodor destroyed Keves Intel and therefore caused damage to Agnes's position. The mystery here is why did he destroy the intel that had crucial info for an enemy camp whereabouts? What he did went far beyond a violation of military discipline. He could have easily been sentenced to death for it. Tell me about it. Soldiers always getting killed by the enemy. They don't see coming. That kind of intel is worth its weight in gold. Which brings an important question. Why is Yodor still alive? Hmm, I think we might need to ask the guy himself what the true nature of his intel was. That'd be quicker for sure. Yeah, let's go and ask him. Theory. It was intentionally false intel. Uh, it was... It, what is this? Is this just like a random discussion? Hero required? I don't... We'll deal with that later. It's not a quest or anything. I have a theory. It could be wrong, but my theory is that the intel was actually false and a trap by Kevis to lure in uh, Agnian forces so that they could be counter-ambushed. I'm not saying that's definitely what happened and it only explains one of their situations. Why are we still making the sound effect? We are not doing squats right now. That makes no sense. That's deeply concerning, isn't it? I guess we should talk to each of them in turn and see what they have to say about the situation. Toma, explain yourself. So, you're feeling up for a fight, are you? Before that, there's something we want to make sure of. Is it true that you murdered multiple Kavesi soldiers? Did you miss it the first time around? Of course I did. You used Levinus during the incident, didn't you? Well, now, someone's done their research. But yeah, I killed the snuff... I'm uh, sorry. I killed a snuff ton of the enemies in Levinus. And you stayed behind last to fight them off, so you could save your fleeing comrades, if I'm not mistaken. Where the spark did you... Anyway, yeah, that's also right. Now, about that enemy. I don't know what colony they came from, but they sure didn't know snuff about fighting honorably. Seeing those dishonorable mutters slaughtering my friends made me go right off the deep end. I had to get... Uh, I had to get any of my guts still breathing... Out. Wait, what? I had to get any of my guts still breathing out of there. Guys! The word is guys! It's not guts! I can read. There's a bit of hair in my face. That's why I can't... <laughs> There's a bit of hair in my face. 
had to get any of my guys still breathing out of there, but I couldn't just let them get away with it. I was too drained to wield my blade, so I got into a loveness and made him regret ever being alive. That's all there is to it. Right, now we understand what happened. Not like me telling you all this is going to make a lift or difference, though, is it? Hmm. Not yet. Let's go through all of their story. Oh. Okay, no, I guess we will do it now. Yeah, go ahead and tell her. We're heading off to tell Suna from Internal Security about your story. We won't be long. Do we have to do this one at a time for each of them? There you are. Where have you guys been? Finally decided to do battle with those wretches? Before it gets to that, we'd like to find out if you know anything more about what Tome did. You mean the mass murderer? Well, as far as I remember, he indiscriminately killed loads of Kevesi without extracting their life. That led to the consul at the time to arrest him and lock him up in here. I'm afraid to tell you that your crafty consul bent the truth about what really happened. Huh? What do you mean? Let us explain. What the- So he was fighting to save his comrades? But that wasn't in the report. It's like we said, the consul bent the truth to make it seem like he was fighting for fighting's sake, not for his comrades' lives. Well, now that I think about it, there were some guys in my term who managed to survive that battle. Although Toma could have definitely tried to extract some flames from the enemy, it's not a stretch to say that he had his reason to do what he did. That settles it, then. I've got no reason to doubt you guys. You're the ones who freed us from the clock, after all. I've also got no reason to doubt that the Toma I know, or knew, would have done everything for his comrades and for Agnes. Oh, well, thank you. We got one off the hook! Fantastic! I think is what's being implied here. That he's going to be set free. Yeah! Ah, been a while since I've had a proper fresh air. Taste is better than I remember. I can bet. You should be thankful to no one the others for that. You bet I'm thankful to them. Not to mention to you, too, of course. Just don't get yourself in any more trouble, okay? Busy enough as it is. <laughs> you wouldn't do that when it's the night. I wouldn't do that when it's this nice outside. <coughs> I wouldn't do that when it's this nice outside. Don't you worry yourself one bit. I'm still one capable soldier, believe me. I added the wink. He didn't wink. Doesn't sound like you've learned anything to me. So that's Toma free. I guess we'll do Zara next. It might have been fun to just fight them. I don't know what the outcome would have been. Like, if we defeated them, would they have been publicly executed? I feel like setting them free is the better approach. You finally ready? Kept me waiting long enough. Before we fight, there's something I want to confirm with you. Specifically, the reason you blew up that container. I feel like this is going to be basically the same story, right? What's it to you? It's not like I can make those supplies magically come back. True, but just to blow up a container for no reason, you'd have to be out of your mind, which you don't seem to be. Funny you mention that, because I was out of my mind when I blew up that container. Or perhaps you noticed that the container had been booby-trapped? Hmm. You don't have to be out of your mind to sacrifice supplies in the name of protecting your comrades. Although I wouldn't call it a flawless plan, I can't see why it would be egregious enough to violate military discipline. If one knew that a container did have something lethal in it, then blowing it up would be perfectly justifiable. Lethal? What do you mean lethal? It could have been something explosive or poisonous. You don't know what was inside, but you had a feeling, didn't you? It's, it's, uh, it's odd to think airdrop supplies could have something like that in them, unless the console had something to do with it. Indeed. It's impossible to see why the console uh, could have thought that something fiendish, could have thought up something fiendish like that. And since blowing up seemingly good supplies is a big no-no, that gave the console the perfect pretext to lock you up. <laughs> cool theory, but the last time I checked, theories don't count as hard evidence. Indeed, all we've got is reasoning that paints you in a favorable light. The simplest, most straightforward reason would be that you were out of your mind all the time. I'll give you this, though. I had fun listening to your theory. Your reasoning skills aren't too bad, either. So, here's what really happened. It's true that I blew up the container. You serious? And like you said, Four Eyes, that container was indeed booby-trapped. You knew something was up well before the incident, didn't you? Yeah, right after Toma had been locked up. We're long-term friends, and I was livid about his arrest. I just couldn't let it slide. As I was looking into it, I began to pick up that the console was hiding something in a container. So, when he went along to the salvage corps to procure it, I blew it up, hoping to use it against the Mutter himself. 
Yikes, okay, I take it back. Maybe she is loopy. The console must have caught on that I was sniffing around, and that's why he rigged a container. Would have been happy dying alongside him to protect my mates, but it didn't go to plan. So I ended up here in the Slammer instead. I was there. Uh, it was there. I had a hunch that my, or rather, our enemy wasn't Kevis. Though, I guess I don't need to call it a hunch anymore. I've long wondered what people like you guys were like. Guys who fought with council. Console. Oh no, this is a I want to know what the real strength looks like type of scenario, isn't it? For the love of sparks. Yeah, let's go ahead and tell Zero the story. Or tell her about Zero's story. We'll go explain your story to Suna from security. Just hurt on a bit. I assume this is, again, going to be basically the same situation, right? If you're going to fight anyone, be quick about it. I'd rather not have my life in danger any longer than necessary. We just got done talking to Zara for her side of the story. We think we might just have a case for freeing her from prison. Wait, seriously? We can let her go? Considering she fess, uh, faced up a great enemy all by herself, we think you'll see why she deserves to be free. Great? As in size? You're saying she can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a loveness or something? We don't mean that kind of great. But, like, she loves blowing stuff up, right? What if she decides to blow up the castle? It doesn't bear thinking about. Look, she had reasons why she did what she did. Let us explain. Fade to black. Why not just go and confront her with Suna? Wouldn't that make everything much faster? That's a whole lot to take in, I won't lie. But, I mean, Seeker trusts you guys. And in either case, Seeker was the one who left it up to my discretion. And according to my discretion, if you guys think she isn't guilty, then she sure ain't guilty to me. Thank you so much! Another one freed. Man, it's crazy to think that I'm actually out of prison now. Now, seeing as I was kind enough to free you, promise me you won't go around blowing stuff up. You got that? Of course, we don't worry about it. I don't just blow stuff up for own reason, you know. Oh, really now? But seriously, don't go doing anything too outrageous, okay? I know, I know. I owe you guys big time after this. And then there was one. I do like that it's an individual quest each time, too, and that we get fat stacks of XP for each one. Yodor, or Jodor if you're so inclined. Up for a fight then? Not quite. We have some things we'd like to ask you first. You managed to get your hands on Kves intel, and yet you didn't share it with Agnes. Why? Getting straight to the point again, I see. Surely squashing intel about Kevis wouldn't have been your best interests. Alright, sit back, relax, yet Yodo tell you a story. I like I've got much else uh, better to do anyway. After I had investigated the Kevesi intel, that fell into my hands, I discovered that it was fake intel created by our console, basically what I said. What? Seems like they weren't too happy about us getting more and more powerful, and were trying to crush us. I don't know what was going through their head. I don't even begin to make sense of it. Maybe they just thought that screwing us was the easy way to fill the Kvesi flame clock. We're the ones who made the console so powerful. And that's how they decided to treat us? Boils my blood, it does. That's why I destroyed that intel, so my friends could withdraw from that pointless battle and limit our casualties. Did you talk about this to anyone? Absolutely no way I'd have talked uh, to my friends about it. Otherwise, the console would have done them in. Thankfully, that mutter can't hurt us anymore. Talking about it now has lifted a weight off my shoulders, it has. And I've got zero regrets as well. Got to meet Tuma and Zera here, after all. And they're class. At least now, you don't have to bear the burden on your own anymore. She's right. You're not living under a console's eye anymore, so cheer up, mate. <laughs> if I ever do get out of here, I guess it might be worth talking about what's on my mind a bit more often. Yeah, we're gonna go tell Suna your story. We'll go explain your story to Suna from security. We won't be long. We're normally not, either. It's a normally a much quicker conversation with her. What's up? Do you need something? I like she's not even asking if we're gonna fight anymore. We've heard your, uh, Yodo's story. Full story. What's this about? Grover, what are you doing here? Don't mind Grover. He's here on other business. He fades to the background pretty easily. <laughs> what an insult. Hey, I just have a soothing presence. Anyway, here's what happened. This is really hard to credit. He was going up against the console? 
What does this all mean? That he didn't do anything wrong after all? What he did was undoubtedly a violation of military discipline. So then, if what they're telling us is true, then Yodor knowingly went against military discipline in order to save Agni and lives, and then went to jail without ever telling us why he did what he did. Well then, we've got no reason to keep him locked uh, keep him locked up in here, right? Mm hmm. He's a capable guy, I'll give you that. Or should I say, him being too capable has got him into this mess? I'm just as averse to trouble as you, as the next person. But what kid do you think? Okay, I think we can let Yordo go. Yordo, why am I having so much difficulty today? I'll take responsibility for anything that happens. Well, that'll certainly make my life easier. I know that much. But if he tries anything funny, I'll throw him back in prison, then throw away the key. I'm sure it won't have to come to that. I hope the next game is fully voiced. I don't want to read anymore. <laughs> Just preemptively throwing that out there. Whoa! Didn't think you'd be here too. <laughs> oh, don't get your knickers in a twist. I won't do nothing bad, I promise. Especially not after you guys got me out of the slammer. All we did was listen to your story. Nothing special about that. Well, I mean, no one else did, so I think that is a pretty special thing that we've done here. Is that... Technically, two quests completed, or do we need to go talk to someone else to wrap up the whole three friends story quest line? I hope everyone's getting along. I guess we need to go talk to Suna! Suna or later, it was all gonna come back to this moment, am I right? Yeah, you know I am. Um, say, you really think it's the right choice letting them walk? I don't foresee any particular problems. They'll be working for the good of the castle now, right? Tch, I really wanted to fight you guys. If it means I get to leave this place, then I guess I'll settle. Same here. Anything's better than riding in jail. Right. Can't say I'm really digging the jail vibe too much. Um, say, are you really, really sure? I don't want this coming back on me, okay? If they start going nuts, we'll handle it. Relax. Seeker did leave it in your discretion. If anything, the responsibility is his. Not sure if that's necessarily how that works. Hey, that's a good point. They were in my custody, but Seeker's the one in charge. Well, in that case, why don't we make him his bodyguards or something? Huh, that's not a bad plan at all. They would perform well as a personal security detail of someone of his position. Right, you've heard him. Get out of here, and don't darken my doorstep again. Ah, it's a weight off my chest. It's straight to Seeker's, isn't it? All right, friends, time to get to work! What a beautiful story of prisoners reformed, except they were wrongfully locked up to begin with. Kind of reminds me of the many people wrongfully locked up in the United States for doing nothing more than lazily wandering around the American capital. You know, after the police opened the doors and let them in. Yeah, no one wants to talk about that part. You can say that it was illegal to be somewhere, but if the police literally opened the door for you... I'm thinking you should probably be excused. Those poor souls did not realize the fix was already in. Okay, and with that out of the way, can we just stand up here and look out across the world and just for a moment acknowledge what an incredible environment this is? Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's figure out where exactly we're going to go next. Because we still have a hero with us who needs to be ascended, and we still don't know where to take them. I mean, you'd like to think... It'll be somewhere around in here.